what happens when you face a radar system designed to be immune to jamming. Most aircraft would be sitting ducks. But on one night over southern Lebanon, Israeli F-15s didn't just fly through that defense. They made the radar see entire phantom squadrons moving in opposite directions. How do you trick a system that's built not to be tricked? And why did those seconds of confusion change the entire strike outcome? That's exactly what you're about to see. Before we move on, I would like you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Why would any pilot risk flying into a radar network that every analyst described as immune to jamming? Over southern Lebanon, the airspace was shaped into a trap long before the first jet crossed the border. Powerful early warning stations sat on ridges while mobile radars filled the gaps, building a watchtower that scanned the sky around the clock. Systems like the JY-27A didn't just track aircraft, they resisted interference that normally blinded older arrays. Engineers had designed them to spread frequencies, shift modes, and link together, meaning a single attempt to jam one cone of coverage only alerted the others. From the cockpit of an Israeli strike jet, that coverage looked like a mesh of overlapping cones stretched over the horizon. Each cone painted the night sky in invisible beams, layered one on another until there was almost no angle left on protected. A pilot trying to slip through risked appearing on multiple screens at once, and the moment one operator confirmed a track, surface-to-air batteries shifted into firing position. The setup was as close to a cage as modern radars can make. Military experts often explain why certain arrays are feared. Active electronically scanned arrays, or AESA radars, don't sweep back and forth like the spinning dishes of the Cold War. Instead, they use hundreds of modules to project beams in several directions at once, updating fast faster than a traditional jammer can react. 